Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, so that means we're going to be looking ahead to tonight and into Thursday for some Thursday flipping investments on the channel because another week in League Rewards time frame is upon us and we have some interesting things to talk about with new objectives that came out yesterday. Are they going to impact the market rise that we see after the weekend league rewards periods. Do I think people are going to be buying cards to play weekend league this weekend? While we know team of the year is still upcoming, we don't have an actual date in stone yet. All right. We don't actually know it yet. So we're still thinking it might be a week and a half to two weeks away. So um, even though we've had a nice little bit of a sell off in this past week, as people know, we're getting closer until team of the year. What happens this week, especially with these extra player picks that they have put out? So I'm going to put kind of this. I, I don't know if this really affects how I think the market's going to rise that much, to be completely honest with you, because in my opinion, it all depends around Team of the Week 16, which comes out today. Now, Team of the Week 16, I want to look at a couple of predictions because the way that it's looking it's not looking too good, right? And these player pick plus, like the extra player picks we'll be getting from Weekend League this coming weekend, will be only team of the week, team of the week 16 players, nothing else, right? Not like team of the week one through 16, just from team of the week 16. Now, this is a prediction from Foothead. We've got Royce, Griezmann, Depay, and those are kind of like the top three guys in this prediction. And if we take a look at Footbin's prediction as well, it's basically the same thing. They've got a Griezmann, they have a Kaylor Navas and theirs, Depay and Royce. So unless EA does something to juice the team of the week this week, I really feel like these extra player picks, yes, people are going to play weekend league and they might get one, two, or, th or three extra to get that 17 win gold two margin to get the extra two player picks. But if I'm being completely honest, what cards do I want from an extra player pick uh, from the team of the week? Now, I guess you could say, hey, it's an extra player pick that I could get to put in a foot champs red upgrade or whatever. I totally get that. I'm just saying that unless EA, if EA is going to put out an objective like this, then they better boost the team of the week, right? I know we had Royce in predictions. I thought we might see a Sancho. I think actually Sancho is even kind of being not panic sold, but his price has dropped today on the game because I think people are expecting him to get an inform after having what I thought was the man of the match performance uh, on the game this weekend. I mean, this card has been down to like 220,000 coins, even in the like two teens today. I bought one at 209 on a snipe and sold it right around 230. Um, but if Royce gets in instead of Sancho, Sancho, you might see this card pop up in price just a little bit. Uh, and again, I mentioned it too. What if they really want to go all out with this team of the week, they could put in Sancho and Royce or Sancho and Holland. Uh, because of course, Holland had a goal in that game as well. He might've had an assist too, but let's talk about the market. How is the market going to react this week? Now, I think there will be a little bit of extra demand for the weekend league rise and for people to go out and buy some cards for their teams because of those extra player picks. There's going to be a little bit. Even if the team of the week is bad, some people are going to still say it and say, sit there and say, hey, that's still extra picks that I can get. I'm going to play weekend league this weekend um, and maybe, you know, get a little bit better of a squad so that I can try to get a little bit better of a finish possibly. But just like we were looking at in the weeks before or the weeks leading up to when we thought team of the year was actually going to be, a lot of stuff that I like this week is in the lower tier range. Some gold cards I like this week, we'll talk about those in a second as well. But I like a lot of the lower tier under 200,000 coin cards. This Bomba Inform is one card that I watch fluctuate around a lot today. Now you have to be careful, it's the 84 Inform, not the lower one. But this Bomba Inform, 76k for this guy. He bounces back and forth between mid 70s and, uh, and 80k, basically at 80,000 coins. We only have one page here, so I'm going to snipe this Bamba. I'm not really buying cards yet. I might buy this for a flip, and I'm, I'm starting to stock a few of those low-rated cards on my transfer list. But uh, Wednesdays in the past couple weeks have been big days on FIFA. So we'll talk about like buy time here in a second. But let's continue talking about some of these players. I like Informs, like this Bamba. He's been fluctuating around a lot. We go back over to Footbin. I like this Joao Felix, 94,000 coins. He doesn't have any other cards in the game that are in this. He has the headliner that's 700K that is in FIFA, and this card is 94,000 coins. This card was at 110 on Friday. 
uh, and he's been pretty low all day. And the, the 94, he was even hit like a 92K. If, this, if you see this in the low 90s, I think this goes back over 100,000 coins. Because again, if you look at these team of the week predictions, there's no Premier League cards in team of the week because they had uh, cup games over the weekend, which don't count for the team of the week. So it's going to be League Un, Bundesliga. It's going to be the other top five, the top four leagues, excluding the Prem this week. So maybe you don't see Prem cards do as well. You'll still see Prem cards rise, but maybe not do as incredibly well uh, just because people won't be linking those to their... Um, to their new red, uh, you know, foot champions cards they get. Now, of course, some cards are probably going to continue to fluctuate, right? You take a look at this Zaha graph. He, this guy goes up every week, 131 to 145, 133 to 153. Last week, he didn't go up as much, but I can tell you, you could have bought him during the week in the 130s. He went up to 150. This 86 Zaha is a mainstay of Thursday flipping every week. Uh, he was 200 last week, and he went up to 227. It doesn't show. Uh, or like 220K was his max on the weekend. This guy went back down to the, to the mid 180s. This card's probably going to be a sale right at 200k or a bit above this weekend league in my opinion, just because this is a card that a lot of people like to use in FIFA. So, you are going to still have your under 200,000 or 200,000 K coin range cards. I think they're still going to bounce. I think they're still going to be pretty good flips that you're going to want to keep an eye on. Um, you know, even some cards like Bruno Fernandez. This guy is 660k. He links to the new McTominay. And he was down at 640 today. If this guy gets back to 640, he was 710 this past weekend. I still think some rare cards like that could bounce as well. Even though he's not under the 200,000 coin range, I think he still does pretty well. This Ali Watkins as a striker probably does decent as well. This uh, Llorente center forward card, the inform, he links to Joao Felix, he links to Carrasco, and he might link to the team of the week, Gaia. If Gaia gets in team of the week, that might be a card people use if they're running on tradable teams. Um, looking through some of these other squads, right? This Holland card is just rare. He's just straight rare. This De Bruyne was 460 this last weekend. He was down to 400K today. This is a card that I expect just to pop up from rarity too, right? Just take notice of which cards are rare on this game and which cards move up and down every single week. This Pogba fluctuates a lot. This Salah, I mean, he's down a lot because of Mares and stuff like that. Um, but this Sun card as well moves around. Foot freeze items are great to trade with too. Um, this hazard fluctuates. This Chiellini is down right now. I, I have a couple of them right now on my transfer list trying to flip him for a quick flip. Road to the final items for sure. And then some of these recent informs, like this Lewandowski moves around a lot in game. This inform, this Kempembe could be good if Navas would get in. He's just a French center back anyway. And Team of the Week 14 interests me because these guys dropped down earlier this week. This Cancelo card, 49,000 coins. I know he was affected by Mares. I know that he was, right? But this guy was still 58K midweek last week. He went down to 48. He's still kind of chilling. I bought one of these because I think maybe this is one of those weeks where Cancelo, you know, bounces up a little bit if you're playing a 3-5-2 and you want to run him at right back or whatever. I kind of like that one. Um, I like this Langley as well. He was like 125k in the middle of the day today, and he was uh, he was he was up at 140 on the weekend. He was up at 140k on the weekend. So if I see this at 125 French center back, um, you know, in the La Liga, I don't mind that card as well. So just kind of taking a look at some of these more recent team of the week items um, and other informs and special cards in this game that I think think could move around pretty well. Of course, Jamie Vardy is like a mainstay every single week. So if we're talking about um, the cards to buy, like the cheaper range, like I'm looking at this Kunde uh, team of the week card as well. This guy fluctuates between like mid 70s and low 80s constantly on this game. Um, when is the best time to buy? Now, I'm not buying my Thursday flip investments yet, right? I'm not actually buying my flipping investments yet because I'm waiting to see what comes out today on FIFA for our Wednesday content in the game. I'm waiting to see what comes out as our Wednesday content. So one thing that we were thinking earlier was for the past two weeks on Wednesdays, we've had big time icon SBCs release. Now the base icon repeatable pack goes away on Thursday and so does the base or mid icon upgrade. This came out last Wednesday and EA put it out for eight days instead of seven. So usually we've been buying the past couple weeks on Wednesdays because we have big day, big Wednesday content, which drops the rest of the market. So 
the stuff on the market right now, as I look around, really isn't that high. So that's why I'm still waiting until today on Wednesday. I want to see what the content is. And then if there's not a lot of content today on Wednesday, what you might see is a lot of people go out and start to buy their cars. So that might be one thing you want to keep an eye on. I kind of hope there is a little bit of content so that we could see a little bit of selling, maybe a bit of panic for people to go and complete an SBC or two. And then we could see a rise from there. I like this Van Dyke. This is one of the only gold cards that I think I would consider this week as a Thursday flipping investment, this Van Dyke item. If you can get them close to 200K on the PlayStation, I think that would be pretty fantastic because again, People are running on tradable teams. We have the newly updated Kleiber. We've got the Robin, of course. And this Van Dyke was 240,000 coins last week. Um, so this is a card that I would probably keep in mind this week for a Thursday flip as well. You know, maybe you do Gold Varan. Maybe you do uh, Gold Furland Manny. Those cards usually bump, bump up a little bit. Gold Pogba, even, possibly. Those cards might bounce up a little bit uh, this week. But I like this Van Dyke because of the Netherlands and the Dutch links that he has. And uh, just the fact that those, that a lot of people are um, are messing around with the Robin and with the Kleiber at right back. So I do like that card as a gold card this week. I think that's going to start to get invested in pretty quickly because that's going to be a very popular card to kind of look at. So a lot of cards, again, stuff that you could be looking at this week. Just add a bunch of stuff to your transfer targets, right? This is what I've been doing just for flipping trading today. The, today or yesterday has been... It's been a really good day to, to fluctuation trade. This Werner Inform is down a lot. You know, a lot of the market has started to be, to be sold off before team of the year. And if you can find a card that's just kind of dropped realistically too low, like I was watching that Bamba and the Kunde. The Kunde was 90,000 coins last weekend. I know last weekend was a bit uncharacteristically high, but... You know, I feel like he could at least go to the upper 80s again this weekend, maybe 87K for like a, a max price for a Kunde. So I'm trying to get him in the mid to low 70s and make a nice little bit of profit there. And doing this is just a great way to keep track of card prices, whether you want to fluctuate fluctuation trade them over a 24 hour period, or uh, if you're trying to actually, um, you know, figure out where they can go and where you can maybe get a buy for a weekend league flipping investment. So again, the buy time, I'm going to be waiting until content drop today just to see what happens. I'm not really sure uh, if we're getting big content today. We've honestly, we've had the McTominay, we've had the Milner, um, the McTominay. I think a lot of people are going to run in their team. So I guess you could, you could argue that Premier League squads could be a good one this weekend to, as well. Maybe some of your other Prem links like that Pogba or um, maybe some of the other attacking guys from Manchester United or like the Kieran Tierney left back card. Because I think a lot of people did McTominay, but not like that many. A decent amount, but not like a crazy, crazy amount. So, um, you know, this content came out yesterday. Yes, it's kind of cool content, but it's just overpriced. So it wasn't that hyped up in my opinion so we haven't we've had the last couple days of just really like chill content i wonder if ea changes that today or if they're waiting until thursday to drop something big and if you do want to get rid of your investments by thursday at 6 p.m uk you can i don't know if we would see a loading screen for team of the year nominees if that were to be coming this friday but if ea really wanted to ramp up and cause panic on this market i just want to put this out there that if we see team of the year nominees in a loading screen or in a foot watch tweet with a card design being added to the game that's going to cause a lot of panic on the entire market because people remember last year what team of the year nominees did to this game so just be careful and keep your eyes out for that because if you do see that content uh tease that with a loading screen or or anything like that you will see a bit of a market crash and people will start selling cards um, if we see team of the year nominee information that it could be coming this Friday. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as well. And I'm being a bit, you know, not hesitant, I guess, but I, again, I'm waiting for today's content on Wednesday to see what happens. We'll be looking at it live on stream today on Twitch. Link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there and have some fun with that. But that's kind of my thoughts for Thursday flipping. I might be getting my stuff out before 6 p.m. on Thursday and maybe sacrificing a little bit of a rise. Hopefully I can double dip again as we did last week, sell some stuff into 6 p.m., make some profit there, and then if there's any stuff that gets low around 6 p.m. Thursday, depending on what the content drop is after rewards, possibly buy into that and sell later in the afternoon there. Of course, that is assuming that we don't have anything big coming 
with team of the year nominees. So again, under the 200, 250,000 coin range this week. Again, just look at cards. Go through, literally go through this link right here on flipman.com. Go to team of the weeks and scroll through these past team of the weeks. We do it every week for Thursday flipping, right? Even this like quadrado right back. Like this, <clears throat> this guy was 114. He was 105,000 coins on yesterday, I believe. He was 105 yesterday. He's bounced up a little bit. If you see this guy under 110, that's a buy because this is one of the best right backs in the Serie A. If we do get a couple Serie A in forms, then that could be a good buy. Now, your only worry is that a Danilo Brazilian right back from, of course, Piemonte Calcio, a.k.a. Juventus, gets into the team a week as well. That might make this card drop a bit. So just kind of keep that one out there and just be ready for that. So a lot of how much hype there is going to be for weekend league depends on the team of the week that comes out today. EA could juice it if they really want people to play or they could just leave it as is. And uh, then people will be complaining about why am I going to grind extra wins for weekend league for the shocking team of the week. I can, I can see that happening as well. So that's kind of my thoughts on Thursday flipping this week. I think it is going to work. I try to do it every week. It's all about picking your spots, finding the right cards that move up every single week or that may have an increased opportunity of moving up on a certain week, depending on links, depending on what SBCs have come out and how much coins people really want to spend on a team given what time period we're at in the game. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.